All right, guys, I have a friend who is a huge coffee enthusiast that's been telling me to check out State Street Coffee in Uptown for a long time. So, Jake, today is the day. I don't think he watches the vlog. Coffee turned into brunch, and I'm gonna be honest, brunch was good, but coffee was amazing. I almost don't wanna tell you about State Street Coffee, because I wanna come back next weekend, and I don't wanna see you there. No offense, Selfish. I just want the place to myself. It was so <laughs> great. Mike and Ollie were awesome, great to uh, meet them. I'm definitely gonna try and rope them into the vlog later. What'd you think about the coffee? It was it was really great, and the space just had such a neighborhood vibe. Like, you can just talk to anyone who comes in, including the people who are running it, so. Absolutely, if you want to feel like you're in Lincoln Park or in Chelsea, but you want to stay in Dallas, come hang out at uh, State Street Coffee, get to know the guys, they're awesome. And then uh, if you want to make terrible decisions afterwards, eat an entire breakfast pizza, we're going to go sleep that off. Alright, confession time. It is not later on in the day after coffee and brunch with Kate. It's not even later on in the weekend. As a matter of fact, today is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, the very day that I'm supposed to be uploading the finished and edited vlog, and I haven't done any of it. This weekly vlogging thing is hard. Truth is, it was just a crazy weekend. We had a lot of birthday parties and other things that we needed to be at, and time just got away from me. So this past Tuesday, instead of uploading a vlog, we actually uploaded an artist spotlight video, which I did not uh, shoot. Ryan, our creative director, did, but I did edit, and I think that that counts for something. And honestly, it's kind of ended up being a good thing because it's given me more time to think about some conversations that we had this weekend while we were at State Street and kind of how those feed into some other thoughts that I've been having recently. This is where I live, by the way. Not like out here, but you know, the building. See, the coffee was good. The atmosphere was nice. But at the end of the day, the thing that we loved about State Street is that Mike and Ollie just love what they do and you can tell. Don't get me wrong, the coffee shop's really well known and I think that it's really successful, but you can tell when you're talking to these guys that they're not in it because of the success. That if for some reason the coffee shop wasn't as successful as it is, they'd still be doing something like this because they just love what they do. And that type of passion for what you do, it's just infectious. vlog we talked a lot about how it takes hours to create minutes some of these works of art these songs these paintings these videos that we watch we can consume them in a couple of minutes but the truth is someone spent hours maybe weeks more on that in the weeks since I've posted that video I've gotten a lot of comments and messages and emails from other artists saying man this week's video really got to me it kind of reminded me of how much work it is to be an artist and that's kind of triggered conversations about why we do it then? Why would someone, a sane person, spend hours of their time doing something that only produces minutes? It can be a tough question to answer. The truth is, as a creative, if that's not a difficult question for you to answer, if you know your why, you've probably spent a lot of time thinking about it, or I'm willing to bet you're lying to yourself. Now, while you wrestle with that, I wanna challenge you with something. Last week's episodes sparked a lot of conversations with other artists, mostly about what keeps us as creatives going. See, if we're gonna devote such a huge chunk of our lives to a passion in which it takes hours to create minutes, you've gotta have a really strong why. And for me, and for my friends, and for the people that I've been talking to, it all boils down to this. Think about the last time that a creative work moved you. It can be a painting, it could be a book, it could be a movie, it could be a vlog, poem, whatever it is. Think about the effect that it had on you and now ask yourself this. Have you told the artist? All of my friends that I talked to about this this week, especially if they're creatives, have a story about an initial work of something that inspired them to begin creating. Even if you're not a creator, you probably have those works that you've seen that inspired you and moved you and made you want to be better. As an artist, if you're lucky, you have one, maybe two stories of people who have actually shared this with you. 
I'm not sure if we understand A, how rare those are, and B, how much wind it can put in someone's sails for you to share that. I've had a couple of those stories shared with me about something I've created myself in the past, and I'm telling you right now, just one or two of them are enough to keep you going for a really, really, really long time. Now, if you are a creator, I've got one more thought for you. It's an incredibly small percentage of artists of any kind that actually make some money off of this gig. So if it's not enough to you to do something because you're so passionate about it, successful or not, and you love it and you want to do it well, and there's an outside chance that maybe that might inspire someone to be better or to create themselves, and there's an even further outside chance that that person might one day find you and know you and tell you what that meant to them, if that possibility isn't enough for you to keep creating, reconsider. Now, I'm not saying give up on your dreams. What I am saying is make sure that what you're pursuing is your dream because I've been around the people that are just out to make a buck and are miserable themselves doing it and honestly, they're miserable to be around. It's the people who do what they love for the pure fact that they love what they do that make us want to be better and inspire us to create and to push forward. Truth is, the farther me and Kate got away from coffee at State Street, the more we realized that the coffee was phenomenal but what we really loved was meeting two guys who love what they do and it shows in absolutely every aspect of it. So thank you Ollie and Mike for reminding us what that looks like, for putting skin on that idea. More importantly, if you know someone like that, someone who's inspired you with how well they do what they do, tell them this week. Now I am gonna do something incredibly uncharacteristic and go for a run and I'll see you guys next week on time, I promise.